Hi, my name is Brandon Downer, and I'm a chemist working as an application specialist within the product design and process group here at Corteva AgroScience. And today we're going to look at some common fertilizer blending with the new formulation of Instinct to see some of the changes and improvements that we've made. For this first blend, we're going to look at UAN32. And we know that our products are used in the early spring and late fall application. So what we've done is we've chilled both the fertilizer and the product down to five degrees Celsius for this mixing. We're gonna do what's known as a standard jar test. And for that, we're gonna pour 100 milliliters of UAN32 into a beaker. And because we know that the products are not always added to the spray tank with the full amount of fertilizer in the tank, we're gonna go ahead and start our test at a 50% volume. So to this jar, I'm gonna add 50 milliliters of the UAN32. And following standard jar testing protocol, I'm gonna then add our chilled Instinct new formulation product. What we're gonna watch when we see, when we put this into the jar, is we're gonna see very good dispersion from the new formulation. You're gonna see this as soon as it hits the jar. Now to simulate some agitation in the spray tank, we're just gonna give this a few inversions. Then we'll add the rest of the volume of the UAN32. Now, as we know, the most important thing when it comes to spraying fertilizer products is that we don't plug any filters or screens in the sprayer. So to simulate that, we have two sieves. Each of these sieves will represent a different mesh on a sprayer. So to begin with, we have a 50 mesh, which is going to be a very common inline filter size. And this side, we have 100 mesh, which is gonna be uh, less common. As we pour this sample, we're gonna to wanna to look for any flocculation, any solids that are caught on the sieves, or any crystallization. As we can see, as we pour this material, that it's running through the sieves quite nicely. And very quickly, it's all the way through both, both sieves. As we take a look at both the 50 mesh and the 100 mesh sieves, we see that they're completely clean. 